before it's too late. There are many people working in the Amazon who recognize that unless the tide of destruction is stemmed, the Amazon will go the same way as the Atlantic rainforest. One of those people is Davy Israel. He and his family run another private sanctuary or rehabilitation center for injured and confiscated animals. There was an idea 10 years ago when we, we saw that there was a problem with the animals that were confiscated from uh, the government agency responsible for that area. What they usually do is they got the animals and just put them back in the forest. These animals were stressed, weak, and didn't know their way in the new forest. Eco Park is a sanctuary that is adjacent to Davies Bush Hotel. It has many species which are endangered. So we start to discuss with scientists and biologists and veterinarians what we could do. And that's how the idea came about, to create a, an area where the animals could uh, uh, go for a period of time uh, before they were released back in the forest. And since that time, the area has grown. And to make sure the animals are in good health and are making progress, he employs a biologist who comes in twice a week to check everything is working as it should. Um, Rosanna Subira says it is difficult to rehabilitate the animals because when they are infants, it's difficult for them to climb up the trees to feed. She says there are so few places in Manaus, like the Eco Lodge, where animals and birds can be rehabilitated. Here they are free. They can go to the forest or come back to feed. She says they have the freedom to come and go as they like. There's no doubt that part of the driving force behind this rehabilitation centre is that it gives the tourists who visit Davies Eco Lodge a special treat to see the monkeys like these woolly monkeys in the wild. But like so many others in the world that are struggling to save endangered species, ecotourism is the way of the future if humanity and wildlife are to live in some kind of harmony. So we created in this area a, a jungle lodge. We have 60 apartments, 20 bungalows spread in the, in the jungle. And we bring groups from all over the world and uh, these groups pay, of course, a fee to stay overnight. And part of this fee, a large part, is, is given to the foundation to develop its research projects and educational projects. Not only in this area, but also in Manaus and in other parts of the state of the Amazon. Visitors to this area see more than just the Eco Lodge. They see where the two rivers, the Black and the White Rivers, combine to form the Amazon. <laughs> 